anyway, a blue tripper at nine in the draft. It sounds like, and just talking with people, and again, I went through and like have been doing some work, uh, and we'll get to it in a second here, but the, the linebackers in this class, I'm watching N'Kobe Dean. I'm watching Devin Lloyd. They're both good players, but if you're looking for a blue chipper caliber athlete at the linebacker position, uh, somebody like, God, one of my first draft crush loves was uh, get in line, Nick. Luke Keekley at Boston College, just playing differently. Uh, loved Devin White coming out of LSU. And Micah Parsons moved different. Neither of these linebackers are like that, but they're talking being talked about in the top nine. Why? Because the top of this draft this year is it's a down year for at the top. I do think there are blue chippers still. I don't know if I would put Hutchinson or Thibodeau at true blue chip edge rushers. Uh, they're not like the miles Garrett chase young, Nick Bosa tier of players. In my opinion, they're very good still, but for this class, let's call them blue chippers. Uh, so Hutchinson Thibodeau, I would put Neil and Aquano at blue chippers. Uh, then obviously you have, my favorite player in this class, Kyle Hamilton. Mm -hmm. uh, he's definitely a blue chipper. Um, and then maybe Derek Stingley. I have heard That's some reports. I was, going. That I was thinking Derek Stingley. There's some concerns about his foot, um, apparently, that could crop up uh, long term. So we'll watch out for the foot with Derek Stingley. The other one who I think maybe deserves a shout out as a blue chipper, but he won't go drafted as a blue chipper. But I need to give him a shout out. And I'm not advocating for him in the top 10, but he's, he's special at his position, is Tyler Linderbaum. He is a blue chipper relative to, to his position. It's just... I don't think there's been a center drafted higher than 16 overall in like 20 years. Mm -hmm. So it's just not a position of, of value. So, um, but he's still, he's damn good at a center position. Well, blue chipper is a, is a relative phrase. So however you want to qualify my comments on this, I think you can get a really, a really exciting player at a position of need at nine. Is that a blue chipper? I'll let you decide on that. Yeah. I think you can get a, an immediate starter at nine in a place you really want him and he's going to really improve your team and you're going to be excited to watch him play next year. Yeah. If that's a blue chipper to you, then yes. If it's not, what's a blue chipper? Okay. It's a guy that I think could be multiple pro bowler and well, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Um, I, I tell you what, I'd rather be drafting for, for uh, financial reasons. I'd almost rather be five to 10 to one to five. I, mm -hmm. I think your the hit rate is going to be about the same. I'm not completely sold on, the guys at the very top, especially the edge guys, any I'm not any more sold on Aiden Hutchison to a certain extent than I am George Karloftis. It's kind of like the quarterbacks that Nick always says. I've got him in tears. I'd rather take the last one because he doesn't cost me as much. It's a little bit how I feel like the Broncos sitting at nine are in a – that's a good spot to be in this draft. Last draft, you wanted to be in the top three because you were either going to get um, you know, the quarterback or someone was going to give you a lot of capital for the quarterback and coming down just below that – change things a little bit you could still get a really exciting player so i'm excited about the the eight and nine picks in this draft i do wish the broncos were picking above the falcons because what's going to happen is there's going to be a edge rusher or a right tackle that falls there or kyle hamilton and the falcons will jump on him and i'm going to be very sad but, you just, but the good news is you just named three players yeah but you know the, so you can get the one you, you can get one of the three of those three so if the edge rusher or kyle hamilton or the right tackle or the corner, two yeah. of those guys are going to be available. Yep. You get the other one. And who says who says you're going to be uh, wrong, right or wrong? on who, who is going to be right or wrong on that pick? Well, I will be visibly upset if Kyle Hamilton goes Unless it's eight. Kyle Hamilton at eight. It, yeah, I will be visibly <laughs> upset. I will be, 